Hello everyone, welcome to the Little Women Oscars. It is that time of year again, award season, and so Kate Howe and I thought it was only appropriate to award uh, uh, our favorite Little Women screen adaptations with some love. Now just a warning, there will be spoilers for Little Women. I'm sure you're aware of that, but just wanted to put that out there. Now for these awards, we will only be considering screen adaptations of mega proportions. So this will not include the Broadway musical of Little Women, the 1918 silent film of Little Women, or the 2018 modern retelling of Little Women. There are many adaptations of Little Women, many more plays and musicals and web series, but we will only be considering the following adaptations. The 1933 film with Katherine Hepburn as Joe March. The 1949 film adaptation with June Allison as Joe March and Elizabeth Taylor as Amy. The 1978 TV adaptation with Eve Plum as Beth March and William Shatner as Professor Bear. The 1994 film adaptation with Winona Ryder as Joe March. The 2017 BBC miniseries with Maya Hawke as Joe March, and the 2019 film adaptation with Saoirse Ronan as Joe March. So let's jump right into it with the first category being Best Marmy Storyline. The nominations are the 1994 film version, the 2017 BBC miniseries, and the 2019 film adaptation. And the Oscar goes to the 2017 BBC miniseries version. And the reason why I'm giving this award to this uh, series is because there is so much more time to develop Marmee as a character. She gets way more screen time. We see her sorrow, her deep depression over the death of Beth. We see her struggling with her temper, with her anger, and most importantly, we see her unconditional love for her daughters. Next category, the best Meg and John storyline. The nominations are the 2017 BBC miniseries and the 2019 film. And the Oscar goes to the 2017 BBC miniseries. Once again, there is more time to develop this relationship. It is tender, it is genuine, it is adorable. And one of my favorite scenes from the book is included where we see Meg stand up to Aunt March on behalf of John, and it is adorable. However, an honorable mention does deserve to go to the 2019 film version, as I love the scene where um, Meg buys that really expensive dress, that, or the, the material for the dress that she really can't afford, and just the way John reacts is just heartbreaking. It is such a good scene from the book, and I'm so glad that that was included in the 2019 version. The next category is the Best Beth Storyline. So the nominations are the 1994 film, the 2017 BB min BBC miniseries, and the 2019 film. Before I say who the Oscar goes to, I've got to say I love the 1994's absolutely gut-wrenching, heart-wrenching scene where Joe is with Beth and she looks out the window at the storm outside and she turns back and Beth has passed away. Oh. Oh my goodness. I also think the 2017 BBC miniseries is wonderful how we see different sides of Beth. We see her anxiety and her crippling shyness when she cannot go over to the Lawrences to play the piano for fear of running into Mr. Lawrence. But ultimately, the Oscar has got to go to the 2019 film version. It is so heartbreaking when she dies. It is beautiful. I love it how we have that death scene and then we go to a flashback scene and the first person we see in the golden sunshine is Beth holding flowers and alive. It is beautiful. I also love how um, there's a later scene where Mr. Lawrence can't go inside the March home because he knows it will be different without Beth there. So I thought it was so well done. Next category, best Amy and Lori storyline. The nominations are the 2019 film version, and the Oscar goes to the 2019 film version. There is no competition in this category. The 2019 film, film version just blew it out of the water. I love how we see right from the beginning that Amy and Lori are the ones who are meant to be together. They are the truly suited couple, not Lori and Joe. These are the ones who need to be together. We see how Lori has a 
boyish regard for Amy, how Amy has a little girl crush on him, how they grow up and they, it develops into this deep and abiding love for each other. We see the struggles of Amy saying, no, I don't want to take, you know, my, do my, my sister's leavings. Like, I don't want to take somebody who is in love with my sister and not with me. We see that struggle and ultimately it is a satisfying conclusion when we realize that Lori does truly love Amy and not Joe anymore. So that leads me into the next category, the best Joe and Lori storyline. This is one of the most popular storylines of the Little Women books. So the nominations are the 1994 film, the 2017 BBC miniseries, and the 2019 film. And the Oscar goes to the 2019 film. Now, they didn't have the adorable meet-cute that happens in the 1994 version, where Joe accidentally backs in behind the curtain and sits on Lori's lap, and from that moment on, we want them to be married, and we can never come back from that. That does not happen in the 2019 version. They meet, and you know that they have met the best friend of their lives. They, the way they, they have an uproarious, hilarious time together, and you just see the brother-sister connection that they instantly make, and how that develops over the course of the movie into Lori developing this boyish crush on her but but Joe still sees him as just a, a wonderful friend a brother even and then it was a seamless transition as I said in the the Lori and Amy category that he you see his his um his romantic love for Joe transfer into a brotherly love best Joe and Professor Bear now, the nominations are the 1994 film, the 2017 BBC miniseries, and the 2019 film. And the Oscar goes to the 2019 film. One thing that I loved about this version is that Professor Bear was played by a 34-year-old man, and Professor Bear is 40. In other versions, the Professor Bear must be in his 50s. Like, it's just gross. It's too much. I don't like it at all. So this version, I loved that the age was much more accurate to the book. And I also really appreciated um, Professor Bear's bluntness, his kindness, um, his, you could see his, his honest to goodness love, unself or selfless love for Joe develop. The only complaint I have, and this is the complaint I really have with any adaptation of Little Women, is that we need more time with Professor Bear. But even though they had such little time with Professor Bear, I believed it. I didn't think that this was a consolation prize, as I do in the 1994 version, as I do in the 2017 version. It was like, this is who Joe was supposed to be with. Next category, Best March Sisters as a Whole storyline. The nominations are the 1994 film version, the 2017 BBC miniseries, and the 2019 film version. And the Oscar goes to the 2019 film version. These sisters are all in, up in each other's grill, up in each other's business. They are all over each other physically. Um, they talk over each other. They jabber at the same time. This is what real sisters are like. If you are in a family of girls, I have an older sister and a younger sister, this is what we're like. It doesn't mean this is what we're like. Like in public, that might be different, especially back in this time where they need to appear more decorous, decorous, whatever. They need to appear more polite, more ladylike. But when you're at home and your mom's not home, I mean, my mom's, she lets us get away with stuff. But like if, when Marmy's not home, it's just the girls, of course, they're going to mess around. They're going to talk over each other. They're going to be ridiculous. And that is what the 2019 film version does so well. Next category, Best Joe's Writing Storyline, and the nominations are the 1994 film version, the 2017 BBC miniseries, and the 2019 film version. And the Oscar goes to the 2019 film version. I love how this version fleshes out Joe's writing with real life stories from Louisa May Alcott's life, her relationship with her publishers, her struggle when her publishers insisted that all young women in her stories must end married or they wouldn't sell, her longing to have more serious work. It was so good. It really like added to Joe's writing using Louisa May Alcott's real life and things that Louisa May Alcott may have wanted to include in Little Women, which I thought was really true to the spirit of the book and to the spirit of Louisa May Alcott. Last category, best picture. I think you guys know what I'm going to say here. So 
not even gonna bother with the nominations. And the Oscar goes to the 1933 Catherine Hepburn version. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. It is clearly, for me, the 2019 film adaptation. I adored it. I loved it with my whole heart. I cried. I laughed. Every emotion in between happened. I thought it was so true to the essence of the book. Um, I thought it was told in a unique and different way than we hadn't seen before. I mean, we've seen certain flashbacks. We've seen that framing device in the Broadway version where you have, um, you know, Joe and Professor Bear, then flashback to the rest of the play, then Joe and Professor Bear at the end. But this took it a step further, which I thought was wonderful and showed the different themes in Little Women so well. So it's got to be the 2019 film version, my favorite of all time. So yeah, that was the Oscars. Make sure if you haven't already to watch Kate's video. I'm looking forward to seeing what she has to say. And um, if you're curious about watching more um, of my videos about Little Women, about the book, about different adaptations, then check out my playlist below. This is obviously a topic that I love talking about. And obviously, I, I know that I don't have the same opinions as many people out there, but I just like to say my opinions really emphatically. I do value yours, though, and I think everybody has a unique and important perspective. So yeah, um, well, that's all for today. Um, if you'd like to join us in our Louisa May 2020 read-along, it's not too late. Check out the announcement video that I'll link below. And yeah, may you all be filled with peace, hope, love, and joy. So take care, everyone. Bye.